My name is Debbie Clark. I live at 644 East Deer Path in Lake Forest. I've lived here for 13 years. I've played tennis for too many years. Um, I would have a question relating to um, the statement that we have lost 22 courts in the area. I would encourage you to look at why. That's not College Park's problem. Um, that's the city of Lake Forest, I guess, deciding that it's okay to get rid of courts. Some of those courts perhaps were Lake Bluff, Bath and Tennis, which has absolutely nothing to do with the citizens and residents of Lake Forest. We couldn't use those courts anyway. They were for members only. Um, Perhaps we should look at improving some of the courts we have. If the park and rec is very concerned about not enough courts, perhaps they should have gone to bat before those courts were either destroyed or I don't know what happened to them. I've lived here for 13 years. I'm trying to figure out where those 22 courts were. Um, I speak from personal experience in using the West Campus courts. I've never had a problem. I've had people from other communities come and play with me. I would hate to see it become a residence only facility. Part of playing tennis is getting together with people in other communities. It's, we're not, you know, we're not a closed community, I hope. Um, I've, as I said, I've never had a problem. I've gone to other communities, used their courts. That's just how it works. Um, we cannot be that selective, in my opinion. Um, my other question would be where the $2 million asset comes from. I don't really understand that. I would encourage the board to look at that and look at where those figures are coming from. Um, again, <laughs> I encourage you not to punish College Park because Lake Forest deemed fit to get rid of quote unquote 22 courts. 